My, my collection is, is purely Porsche. In 1957, purchased the first car. It's not far off at a billion miles of Porsche motoring. It's so exhilarating, even now, at 80 odd. really on the outskirts of the, the Derbyshire Dales and of course it's, it's lovely country for driving Porsches. And so apart from the collection of Porsche tractors, there's a helicopter engine, a portable water pump, it's got a 356 Porsche engine in. In the old language it will shift about over two or three hundred gallons of water a minute. I find it difficult to remember them all, to be honest. But I've had quite a few cars. They started with the 356s, and then in 63, I think the six-cylinder came out. We used whitewash to put the numbers on, because that was on a Sunday for the hill climb. And on the Monday, you got to go to work. You got the horse park and just wiped up. This was, this is what happened in those days. The cars kept improving and improving continually. This latest version now is the best of them all, which it's got to be. It's like all Porsches. Uh, it's one of the few cars, is every time you turn the ignition key, it gives a bus straight away. For the car to have remained a favorite all these years, it's not amazing really because it is such a super motor car. I think I would have been changing on to something else. But what else is there? And really, I know I'm too old now, but my dream car, I'd have a 911 with a little flat 8 in it. But that's what I always dreamed of, but you always dream about something that you can't get anyway. <laughs>